Hey everybody, it's Mike from Washdot. Summer is officially here and that means several months of special events all across the state for you to prepare for. Whether it's sports, concerts, festivals, and of course construction, we want you to be prepared before you hit the highways. This weekend, the focus is going to be on I-90, always one of our busiest highways. This weekend, we expect it to be even more congested as there are several very large events between Seattle and Spokane for you to prepare for. Just what's going on? What do you need to be ready for? Let's send it over to Joe for a look at what's happening in the Seattle area. Thanks, Mike. Summer means Seafair, Bite of Seattle, and a million other events in the Puget Sound area. This Saturday at 7 p.m., the Sounders play the Vancouver Whitecaps at CenturyLink Field. That means plenty of traffic in the downtown Seattle area, so be sure to pack your patience. Carpool, use transit, or even bike if you can. Now let's kick it over to the east side for some tips on how to get to the gorge. Thanks, Joe. Great kick. Well, concert season is well underway at the Gorge, and this weekend is no exception. Country music legend Eric Church will be playing for three whole days. Bands like me will be flocking to the Gorge, so expect extra travel time in that Vantage and George area, and certainly pack your patience. Also to know, crews are working on that eastbound panel replacement project that's just west of the summit on Snoqualmie. Crews need time for that concrete to cure, so please be patient, allow extra travel time, and you'll get there safe. Let's toss it over to Ryan for a busy Spokane weekend. Nice throw, Summer. Although I thought you were throwing me a hat, but this works too because it's Hoop Fest weekend here in Spokane. The largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament in the world coming to Spokane, turning into Hoop Town USA. But it does mean it's going to be very busy on the roads. Pack your patience, allow for some extra time if you're going to be traveling in and around Spokane. Be patient on the roadways and work together. That's most important, but regardless, have a safe and fun weekend. Mike, any final words? Hey, great throw, Ryan. I think you four pretty much have it covered. Something to keep in mind, all those roads that lead to I-90 are also gonna be really busy this weekend. So try to add that time into your trips. For example, I-5 at the Ship Canal Bridge is gonna have work done on it this weekend. So make sure you add plenty of extra time to get through there. A lot of people headed down to the Seattle Pride Parade, down south. Olympia on I-5 all the way up through Tacoma is always really busy, so add plenty of extra time through there. One thing to consider, maybe download our mobile app. There's a lot of great information on there to help you plan trips, but never use our app while you're operating a vehicle. Which brings me to my final point. Always remember to store your phone and focus on the road. Watch your speed. So let's all work together, have a safe and fun weekend. That's in.